Peace, family. It's your brother, Mark Lamont Hill. It's been a minute. And we're still talking about that Cat Williams interview on Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp. And there's a lot of reasons to be talking about it. Well, Dave Chappelle just gave us another one. Dave Chappelle hit the stage and had some comments about Cat Williams' comments. And it's rare to get Dave Chappelle footage because when you go to a Chappelle show, you got to hide your camera phone. But we got some this time. And here's what Chappelle said. He didn't say anything about any of these white boys. And none of these white boys function like that. And Cat is one of the best painters in the game. And so why are you drawing all ugly pictures of us? I could not agree more. I have no issue with people going out and offering a criticism. I have no problem with people telling their truth, exposing their vulnerabilities, putting a spotlight on the messiness of the industry. Do all of that shit. Comedians are supposed to be truth tellers. Comedians are supposed to be the freest and most brave people in the world. Even when they're not telling jokes, they should still be doing that kind of work. So I'm not mad at that at all. But Chappelle raises an interesting and important point. And that interesting and important point is, how brave is it to only call out black folk? Call out black folk for where they go wrong. Call out black folk for where they're complicit with the system. Call out black folk when they sell out. Cool. But black folk don't run Hollywood. Black folk don't hold the levers of power. To really be brave isn't to call out the Negroes in the room. To be brave is to call out the power brokers in the room. Now, if those power brokers happen to be Negroes, do that too. But I didn't hear no black power brokers called out. We heard everyday workers. We heard the comedians. We heard the artists. We heard the rich people. Again, call them out. Hold them accountable. But if you're going to be brave, if you're going to be part of the real comedic tradition of, of telling the truth when it's difficult and when it's unpopular, Kat, then you got to do what Chappelle is suggesting, which is ether in more than just niggas, to use his language. Then there's the issue of self-critique. He's absolutely right. He said, Nigga, I didn't hear anything you did wrong. He said, he didn't do nothing wrong? Cat didn't do nothing wrong? Cat was talking about shit that niggas did to other niggas, but not about anything that niggas did to him, or even that he did to other niggas. Anyway, to make it clear, just to make it clear, there has to be self-awareness and self-criticism as well. If you're going to be open and honest for two and a half hours, there needs to be a story where you made a mistake, where you used bad judgment, where you caused harm, where you made this choice when you should have made that choice. So I applaud Dave Chappelle for inviting this conversation because Chappelle, like a whole lot of other people could stay silent because he's afraid of what will come out, because he's afraid of Cat Williams clapping back, because he's afraid of something bad happening, but he didn't do that. Dave Chappelle is actually standing on business right now. Dave Chappelle is being courageous and honest and telling the truth about how he feels about Cat Williams. I'll be interested to know if Cat Williams receives this and responds to this with love and with humility and with self-awareness and self-critique, or if he just claps back and it turns into something ugly. I hope it doesn't because these are two grown brothers who like each other, who love each other, who respect each other. So I'm hoping he takes the critique for what it is, which is honest and sincere. He also takes the, the generous uh, compliment that he gave him. He said, yo, you one of the best artists we have. You draw the best pictures. So why are you drawing such an ugly picture of us? That's a great question. And that's a question not just in the comedic realm, that's everywhere. It's easy to tell the truth about the open enemy. It's easy to tell the truth about people who are on the ground with you. It's easy to tell the people uh, the truth about those who are struggling. But you are at your best and your more, most honest and your, your most courageous and your most free when you tell the truth about the people who can do harm to you, when you tell the truth about those who make y'all vulnerable. That's the real test of courage and strength and honesty and integrity. So I'm not dissing Cat Williams. I'm just saying this is an opportunity to grow and learn for what courageous truth telling could look like. Shout out to Dave Chappelle for making that happen. If you want more content like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you're so inclined, hit the join button to become part of the Mark Lamar Hill official YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.